Everybody, this is Beetle Five. Welcome to another one of my reaction videos. Death Battle has come back, and we are gonna be watching Black Panther versus the Batman. This, I think, is a very poor Death Battle choice, as do I think many others feel the same as well, because they have used Batman three times now. He lost against Spider-Man in season one, but beat Captain America, I believe, season two. Yes, two. So now we're going to see him fight Black Panther, and as much as I love Batman, and I actually don't give a flying fuck about Black Panther, I think Black Panther's going to win. It's kind of weird to think that, but I mean, I don't know, I just don't, he's a lot faster than Batman is, and he's he's got that animal instinct and all that shit, so. My money's on Black Panther, and hopefully a better choice for next time. So here we are then, we're going to start the shit, 3, 2, 1, GIP! Hmm. New music. Predators. These fearsome beasts strike fear into the hearts of many. Well, sometimes they strike an awe. Uh, ah, Jurassic Park. <laughs> and these two superheroes embody the fear of specific predators to an extreme. Batman, the genius crime fighter from DC Comics. And Black Panther, Marvel's royal warrior scientist. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Okay. Before Wakanda. He the Black Panther. Before he was a king, T'Challa was born the prince of Wakanda. Waka, where now? Wakanda is an isolated fictional nation hidden somewhere in Africa. But while Wakanda itself is shrouded in secrecy, T'Challa was anything but isolated. He's been pretty much everywhere, but especially anywhere with a good university. After earning numerous degrees from Harvard, Oxford, Berkeley, and MIT. All right, she, he's married to Storm from X-Men. His father, Wakanda's king and then current Black Panther, had been assassinated, and a new ruler needed to be named. But to claim the throne, he'd have to claw his way through the rite of passage. This would be a test of fortitude, designed to stress T'Challa's bravery, fearlessness, and combat prowess. Also known as beating the crap out of six The movie isn't out yet, is it? Hey, Say they got a lot of clips from what I think is the Black Panther movie. Too, and he passed with flying mm. colors, earning the throne and the blessings of Wakanda. I don't think it's out. Deity, Bast, the Panther God. But he had mm. to nab some superpowers first, so he went through the ritual of the heart-shaped herb. This herb connected T'Challa to the Panther God, and that link bestowed him numerous superhuman abilities. Who knew getting high could turn you into <laughs> <a superhuman? laughs> Nice. superhuman speed, strength, healing, and agility. <coughs> no, studied 160 plus martial arts. That's actually way more than Batman knows. Psychic resistance. Kitty. They cannot see infrared or UV light. Though it is a common misconception that they can. Well, just like a cat, he can always land on his feet thanks to his other super senses. Specifically, his vastly improved kinesthetic sense. Which is, uh, definitely a sense for something. <laughs> kinesthetic senses make up a person's awareness of their own movement, like muscle memory, but in a broader scope. Oh, huh. Like how we can walk up steps without looking at them. Yes. Or when I shoot my shotgun with my eyes closed. No, no. <laughs> Super sense lets him move and act without having to think about it too much. He can jump across hmm. tree branches and ledges without even looking. Hey, okay, so his natural flow of movement is pretty crazy. Those powers sound cool as hell. I don't know, Boomstick. Everyone knows you're terrible at keeping secrets, and Wakanda House is one of the biggest secrets in comic book history. You talking about how Black Panther married Storm from the X-Men? I'm talking about Wakanda's enormous reserves of vibranium. Mm. Oh yeah, that's the stuff Captain America's indestructible shield is made of. That's right. right. Ten thousand years ago, a large meteorite of vibranium crashed in Wakanda, and they hoarded it all to themselves. And I don't blame them. Vibranium is an extremely durable metal which can absorb audio and kinetic energy. A single gram sells for ten thousand U.S. dollars, and Wakanda's vibranium mound is estimated to be ten thousand tons. That's over nine billion dollars. Wow. Super rich. 
With all that wealth, Wakanda became a techno marvel decades ahead of the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. They were exploring outer space years before the U.S. and Russia even tried. So wow. Why is this important? Well, as king of Wakanda, T'Challa has unlimited access to all of his country's resources. That suit of his doesn't just look cool, it's made of vibranium. I'm gonna say, yeah. Their habit is coated in a vibranium microweave mesh. This doesn't just block incoming attacks, it can literally rob them of their momentum. Huh. For example, bullets don't bounce off, they stop dead and fall straight down. Their kinetic energy absorbed Ooh. into the suit. Yeah, his suit is way better than Batman's suit. Teleportation device and claws, which are made of a special Antarctic version of vibranium called anti-metal. Guess why it's called that? Because it can melt other metals. What oh. does this suit do? Well, the vibranium weave does have a limit to how much energy it can absorb all at once. If it takes in too much, it could wind up expelling said energy. In Yo, nothing that well. Batman can hit him with. Batman doesn't have that strong of hits. T'Challa's leadership, Wakanda has warded off many would-be invaders. Even with Dr. Doom, Namor, and Ulysses Claw charging in, Wakanda was never truly conquered. Ooh. They even stopped an alien invasion, and hey, nobody's ever ready for one of those. <laughs> in addition, T'Challa has nice. studied every major martial art, of which there are about 160. He's considered one of the finest hand-to-hand -hand fighters in the world. He's beat the shit out of Captain America, Iron Man, and Daredevil. Hell, he once knocked out Karnak, who's also one of the world's finest martial artists. Just one hit. He is incredibly strong and can jump well over 30 feet. Damn, dude. He can even throw spears through stone walls. Typically for construction like this, a substantially hard... We're gonna assume that every one of his weapons are all made of, um... With this in mind, oh, fuck the... The metal, they said. I can't remember what it's called. Vibranium. So. Oh guy, fucking puck the crap out of Red Skull. Panther, which can run around 50 miles per hour. He's quick enough to pull a fast one on Wolverine. Defeated Wolverine. Hold on. Did he just take out five X-Men by throwing another X-Man at him? Yes, yes he did. However, under that amazing suit, he is still human. Even with the Panther God's power, he's still prone to failure. This has even caused him to relinquish those powers in the past. And like with kinetic energy, the suit can only take so many intensely focused sound blasts before overloading. Sound blasts, huh? Panther is badass. He's got the tech. Well, Batman might have some kind of gadget that can do that. Do you have any children? No. Good. Because I would have to kill them too. <laughs> well, shit then. Throughout the underworld. All right, Batty man, we know how you work. I love you. You're the only DC guy I like. But I mean, we get how you work. Yes, we know about the goddamn Batman. Ben Affleck, what's up? No, that wasn't his first battle. He lost to Spider-Man. League of a Shad League of Shadows, but okay. Robin. But let's see what he can really do. Bats is really, really smart and considered one of the best tacticians on Earth. No wonder he's always welcome at the Justice League, even though he doesn't have any superpowers. Which what makes him the best? You're not just some guy in a bat costume, are you? Damn right. He's intelligent, but he's also incredibly deadly. He was trained to be a ninja who's a master of infiltration and silent takedown, so sounds about right. Bruce has studied every martial art known to man. Oh, wait, okay, maybe he does. Oh, he does know everyone then. He was able to quickly learn and master at least 127 of them, including Taekwondo, Muay Thai. That's roughly almost 40 less than what Black Panther knows. <laughs> Son of a bitch. And all that's before his handy dandy utility belt, filled to the brim with all sorts of useful gadgets and gizmos. Ah, Christian Bale, the better Batman. Thanks to his family business, Wayne 
enterprises. From steel mills to airlines to record labels, this company does it all. Hmm. And that means Batman has it all, too. According to Forbes, Wayne's net worth thanks to his company... 9.2, I think. Yeah. US dollars. With that much cash, he can afford any kind of weapon he wants. Grappling hooks, smoke pellets, cryo and thermite... The EMP grenade might be a bit of a hitter on Black Panther, but otherwise, that's pretty much it. Ooh, or shock gloves or stun gun. Hmm. And last but not least, don't forget his bat suit. It can resist fire, electricity, and bladed attacks, and is almost totally bulletproof thanks to a Kevlar vest sewn into it. Plus, his cowl sports night infrared and UV vision. But Bats is more than just a tech wizard. This guy bench presses a thousand pounds in his everyday workout. A thousand pounds! And I mm. thought this guy didn't have any superpowers. He doesn't. The current bench press world record is actually slightly higher at 1,075 pounds. Wow. Solidly placing Wayne at peak human levels. Oh, shit. It applies to him in pretty much every area, physically and mentally. He's strong enough to break through walls, rip apart car parts, and pull out prison bars. Defeat a king snake Aquaman answer it. He's the goddamn Batman, obviously. Let's get rid of that. In his strongest suits, he's even tough enough to take a hit from Superman. Yeah, if Bruce ever... He's tough enough to take hits from Superman without a suit. To say he's invincible. True. He fought Doomsday. Gets in a fight with some big bads. He usually has to keep his distance. He's also oh. somewhat mentally unstable and prone to lashing out. However, he knows this. It's one of the They just dismantles the gun. I love that scene. <laughs> That's a bummer. Those are my favorite types of But Bane broke him. Next time Bane tries to break his back. But of all his traits, Bruce they climbed out of the prison. Is his sheer unstoppable tenacity. Even after being drugged by the Joker after days without sleep, put in a straitjacket, locked in a coffin, and buried alive six feet underground, he refused to die. It takes a lot, a lot, to take down the Batman. Where are you? Oh, that's that's that scene. I guess that that's the cooler scene where Batman begins. It's like right here. Batman Begins is a great movie. All right, I must still place my vote on uh. Black Panther, because I, I I think I just think he's he's better well defended than Batman is, and I don't have to listen to this blue paper thing anymore. So. Yep, totally, bro. Blue apron all the way. It's amazing that you're advertising for so fucking long now. Okay. Don't get me wrong. If Batman wins, I'll actually be happier, but I don't really think he will. What the fuck is he listening to? <laughs> oh, you're gonna free your fellow Panther brethren? Is that really what this is? Oh, no. Why does the place look very Jurassic Park like? Alright then. This fight kinda escalated for no reason. <laughs> Why the hell not? Alright. Oh, damn, nice kick to the face. Oh, here we go. Oh, getting him. Getting him. Oh, boy. Boom, 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 bam. Ass kick a tree. Oh, hello. Go to the gift shop. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay, a lot of block pits here. Oh, ooh, damn, what a kick. Oh. Ooh. Whoa! Fucking A! What a punch! Oh dear. Uh, actual alliance. Okay then. Uh, you're gonna slaughter these lions. Yes, you are. Okay. Wow, fighting lions and each other. Okay then. Oh, there you go. Batarangs. Oop. Oh my god, the goddamn- Get the fucking lion out of here! Are you kidding me? Oh, Trank darts! He won't even kill lions! <laughs> but Black Panther will probably kill lions. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, don't do jack shit. <laughs> what is this? Oh! Whoa, shit! Stop the rhino! Whoa! Whoa! 
very fair that they're using the zoo animals as weaponry here? And I'll just seem quite legit. Oh, well, now they're in the sewers, so I, I guess they're not gonna get any animals down here. Oh, but this looks like Batman's domain. Sharks! Oh. Okay. Black Panther? Oh. Oh, oh, oh! That's it! That's it! He's done! You got him! Batman's dead! Yo! Oh my god, a freaking orca! I called it! That's a weird looking Bane. Skills were concerned, and neither held a distinct advantage. However, that was not the case when it came to their weapons and armor. Long story short, that vibranium got Batman stumped. He just didn't have anything in that belt of his that could get around it. We scoured the comics, movies, TV shows, and more to see if Batman had any possible way of countering the vibranium. Didn't really look like he did. Used hundreds of clever gadgets over the years. Like Kryptonite. We were very surprised to find that he had no reliable method of getting around armor like that. Take a look at Batman's fights with Bane. He doesn't have armor, but he's physically superior to Bats, just like Black Panther is. He's still he lost. He well, first time at least. Aim for the weak spot. Yeah. Black Panther Black don't have, have a, a weak, weak spot. spot. Yeah. It's certainly believable that Wayne had the ability to develop a gun that could overload Ooh. the Panther habit. But even if he could, he never would wield it in the first place thanks to his rejection of all firearms. And while his suit can stop a few knives and bullets, it didn't stand a chance against Black Panther. The anti-metal, yeah. In the end, Bruce just eh. in comparison to T'Challa. Maybe they'll finally realize to stop using Batman in death battles. <laughs> he can't beat everybody, as much as I love him. It was good. It was very good. Can't wait to see who's next. Who we got? Raven! <gasps> oh, come the fuck on. Why? Just because Terra Strong voices vote for them? Are you kidding me? You have to throw in another goddamn pony. Well, I love Raven so much, but pff, come the fuck on here. I, I don't care if Terra voices Twilight Sparkle. That's That's no excuse. But anyways, that'll be fun. I've wanted, I actually wanted Raven to fight against Morrigan from Darkstalkers. I thought that'd be a much cooler fight, but whatever. So that'll be fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment over those I should watch in the future, and I will see you guys next time. Later's.